Hello, so this video will be sort of demonstrating and explaining the box order quad bulk that I made like a year ago. Uh, it has like uh, 1.5 million item types, I mean 1.5 million items per item type. And you can store up to 260 item types. And this is what the UI looks like. It's okay. It's pretty cool, I guess. You might be wondering why uh, you can only store up to 216 item types because I use these uh, special two wide titleable box orders. Uh, yeah, so these two wide titleable box orders can sort two item types, but you need to send these box orders an extra signal to route them into one wide outputs. So what I mean by this is that, well, it's actually pretty simple. This one can sort red and orange because I set it to be red and orange, but then you need to put the red concrete. Uh, you have to mark it in like the white, white lister. So over here, then it can sort the, so it can work properly. I mean, it's not that complicated. I'll just show you. And also you need to put in full boxes for the system to work. Uh, these shulker box, these uh, box orders won't accept like non-full boxes. You just put it in here. Yeah, that's about it. And another important thing to note is uh, you have to put a buffer item in this dropper, this dropper, and this hopper. Now what the item is doesn't really matter as long as it exists in this chest over here. So let's say you would probably want to put in yellow so you would do something like this you can even replace this slot but you have to but you have to put an item here and it can be anything as long as the item can be put into this double chest because it's like a cycle like it cycles these items in between the white lister itself it can yeah that's about it that's about how you configure this box order. I should also mention that you have to make sure this uh, dropper is turned off. It's actually QC powered, but it should be in like the off state because I use the redstone dust to butt it. I won't go into detail how this works, but just make sure that this one is off. And then these are powered normally, and these are on like these two droppers. And also try not to actually just don't put 16 stackables into the white lister because I didn't design it for that purpose and it doesn't work with 16 stackables. <laughs> so this right here is the full sized version, 216 item types and 27 slices, each slices two blocks wide and if you want to trim it down you have to make sure that you don't cut a slice in half uh, I'll show you how to do it as well so just take just rip out from the back so I want to remove three slices I would yep fill this out with air and then you just take the the back wiring it's over here you plop it back on over here oh, shit. epic that's step one step two is to uh edit it a bit so when you paste it back in this dust is not redirected by the the tripwire hook you got to remove this repeater 
and depending on where you cut it, uh, this rail might not be the same as this one. So just make sure that this rail type is the same. Same over here. And um, down here, you got to make sure there's an observer over here. Same for the other side. Oh, shit. And here's like probably the most tricky part. Uh, you have to make sure that all of these are powered. You just to ensure that this works. Well, right now it doesn't work because the rail line is hard powered and it just there's a signal change. So I'll just edit it right here. Um, it's hard to explain, but just look at it and you'll figure it out, like how to extend this. So now it, it should work. Basically how this global line works is that it changes the signal strength uh, of these dusts so that the comparator will send block updates. And I need this to happen so it can update the the sliders that's the basic explanation and of course the water streams uh, these are pretty trivial pretty easy to change and that should be about how you can use this quad bulk thanks for watching